Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to correct this problem. This ear, I don't want it to look like this. I want it to look like this ear is. See how it's framing the side of his face real well? So we want both ears to look the same. And the way we do this is we got to tape this ear. And I'm going to show you today uh, using some black Gorilla Tape, um, which is really important to use. It's super sticky. Um, some black Gorilla Tape and uh, how to cut the tape and so on and so forth. We're going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so like this year, I've already cleaned it and I actually already shaved it. So I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Um, if you just, I mean, if you look close, obviously you see that there's a lot of hair right here. Okay, and then look at this side here. I've already shaved it. See how it's nice and clean. Okay, so we want this side to not have all this hair. That way that tape can really stick to it. And all I'm going to do really is use a little bit of shaving cream, just like you'd shave anything. And put a little shaving cream on there. This is where tape's going to go. Clamp that off. And use caution doing this. Be careful not to cut your puppy's ear, obviously. You know, take your time. Don't rush it. Um, but shave all this hair off where this tape's going to be sticking out, okay? And once you get that done, you're going to want to dry it really good. And then um, take some rubbing alcohol and wipe it with rubbing alcohol. Make sure there's no you know, residual oils or anything on there. And then you'll be ready. And that needs to dry probably for about 10 or so minutes to make sure it dries really well uh, before you tape the puppy's ear. Just use some caution while doing this. You just need to get this area about like that. All shaved down. Okay. There's that part of it. So what you're going to want is a piece of tape about three inches long, maybe three and a half inches. It kind of depends on how large your dog's ears are. But we want to be able to, um, you'll see when I get done, to be able to wrap this around the puppy's ear and tape it back to itself. So for this puppy and the, his, how wide his ear is going to be when it's folded, it's going to be about three inches of tape. And what you're going to want to do is cut this pattern out. It looks about like this. It's going to look like a T, basically. So we're going to cut this section out here. Just like that, this is garbage. And then we're gonna cut the other side the same way. Not like this, not like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you got it like that, okay? Then what you do is you take this middle section, you fold it in half on itself, like this, okay? And what you should be left with is a piece of tape looks just like that, got two sticky sides. So the way to correct this ear from doing this and make it look like this ear is pay attention right here where this ear is breaking over at, this where it's curved over. And this ear curves over a finger width or less away from the head. And that's what's causing this ear to lay tight against this head is because how close this breakover is. The farther the breakover is, the farther the ear sticks out away from the head before it falls. We want the ear to fall close to the side of the head. The closer, the better. It gives it a better look. The reason, the reason why this ear lays this way is because there's a crease in the back and the top of this ear, I mean, versus the crease that's in the back of this ear. He's got a big crease back here. So the way to fix this is actually take the ear, and this time I'm not going to mess this up. This is take two or three on this. So what we want to do is end up with an ear that... that lays right next to the side of his head like that. That's the way it should look when you're done taping it. So that's what we want. And the way to get this, hold still little buddy. The way to get this is going to be, first off, taping this section up here Real close. That'll work right there. And then folding the ear. So that's going to be about a finger width or less away. Mm. Folding the ear. Hold on, little buddy. You're being a good little cooperator. He's doing a good job. Hold on. 
See, I got you that time. I'm going to tape it right there. Let's see if it'll work. Pop that little ear loose like that. And that's what you should end up with. Okay? This, this pocket right here will end up, whenever you're doing this, this pocket will be like that. See that pocket's pushed in? So it's going to make the ears stand all funny. So when you get done, make sure you reach inside the ear and pop this little pocket back out like that. Once you pop that little pocket out, the ear should lay about like this. And then what that's going to do is it's going to train the ear to have a fold in it. And it's going to keep this crease out of the back of the ear. That crease that was back there causing that awkward fold. And that's all you got to do.